Who are you? Riff Raff, Jody High Roller. They, they know the name. They know the face. They already know. Riff Raff, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, they said I, I ain't officially in Vancouver till I get interviewed by the man. Well, thank you so much, Riff Raff. And I have a gift for you from your favorite artist right here, Mr. John Bon Jovi. With the Young Guns soundtrack. Oh, man. Now, tell me about your love for John Bon Jovi and pull open his record for a sec. Check out this look that he's got in there. Yeah, let me set these stacks down real quick. What do you have there? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just some lunch money, Canadian lunch money. I love that you're repping Canada there, too. I do. I got to rep Canada. I don't rep Canada. You know what I'm saying? I don't represent nobody but myself, but I love Canada, though. I can say I love Canada. And this is probably the most money that John Bon Jovi has ever seen, eh? Yeah. John Bon Jovi, this is, man, he makes this in 10 seconds. This ain't nothing but probably like little, I don't know, about ten dollars or something like that. So tell us about John Bon Jovi. Pull this open. The look he's got is amazing, Refract. John Bon Jovi. Oh, he ain't even tripping. You know what I mean? He ain't make that cover for me though. You know what I'm saying? This is for some girls. I ain't supposed to be seeing this Could shit. Should that be a riffraff look? Man, uh, psh, nah, because I wouldn't rock those boots. I wouldn't I wouldn't that ain't my ensemble, you feel me? That ain't my wardrobe. But John Bon Jovi, he you talking about somebody who make about what, like five million a show or something. He's a, he, he had the record for most money ever made for tour per year. Every year, he just he cons consistently makes the most money on tour every year. And now you have the record to learn from. Yeah, I'm a, a person. Then I got to buy one of them uh, Versace uh, turntable. Listen to it. And Riff Raff, now you here are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, home of the California roll. The California roll was invented here. For real? How you know I like sushi? California rolls. We got to know that. You love the sushi. Love the sushi. We love the riffraff. You know what I'm saying? And your producer, Paul Dravro, he's from Vancouver too. Oh, is he? I didn't even ask him. <laughs> I, Not decent. Yeah, I know. I know who he is. I just never asked him where he's from. Riffraff, tell me about the importance of the Sharps Tone Mall. Sh Sharps Town Mall? Oh, man, that's where, uh, like, all the jewelry shops are and shit. That's in Houston. That's a mall in Houston. I, th I don't think it's shut down now. Like, but that's what TV Johnny, you know, I used to get my jewelry from and stuff like that. Didn't you used to like do a lot of selling of CDs there? Oh yeah, I, I sold some CDs. Damn, you did some research. Ah! Yeah, I used to be, you know, selling CDs in the mall, grinding hard and shit. That's that's the good one, though, you know what I mean? That you know all this shit. Riff Raff, did you ever buy any jewelry from this gentleman right here, if you open this up, Riff Raff? Any jewelry from this gentleman? Oh yeah, Paul Wall. Yeah, Paul Wall and TV Johnny shop. Huh. I got the internet going nuts. <laughs> yeah, Paul Wall, he ain't crazy. Any jewelry you bought from Paul Wall, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul Wall, uh, TV Johnny, uh, the grills and stuff. This grill right here is one now. It's just gold, just solid gold. It ain't nothing much. But yeah, I used to get all my jewelry from them. Legend. Riff Raff, you have a song called Squirt. Yeah, Squirt with Lil Debbie. Now, did you hear that you only get 10,000 spurts? I don't know what the hell that means. You only get 10,000 squirts, and then it's all over. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. How many squirts have you had? Oh, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, this is, those are some questions that I only answer with female artists. But you had the miracle whip in your hands in a video for squirt. What was that all about? That right there, I, I don't know. I think I, I, was, I wanted some sandwiches, so we were like, going to make sandwiches or some shit? Or I ordered some sandwiches, and then the room service came up, and then they... um. They didn't have many, so I went across the street and got Miracle Whip. I bought the whole thing and it came up, you know, for my chicken salad sandwich. For the female fans, you want to have the baby oil water slide? Oh yeah, you gotta have the baby oil. See, this is these are these are like inventions that I, that I haven't dropped yet. So baby oil water slide, like you know a water park, right? You bring your kids there. It's filthy. You might see a dirty diaper in the water, the little kiddie pool, or whatnot. The baby oil water slide. It's like a daytime strip club for the you know 18 and up. Or whatever. It's like a water park, but instead of water, it's all baby oil. You got the stripper poles, you got the music bumping, you got your drinks, you know, your miscellaneouses, whatnot, so on and so forth. But it's for the older ages. So it's a strip club, but it's daytime, you know. So that you and you can't have it got metal texture, so you can't bring your guns and all that violence and bullshit, you know what I mean? It's a baby oil strip park. Oh, and by the way, you it's gonna only be girls and I'm I'm not a DJ. Alright, yeah, next. Baboom! <laughs> Zing! A riff raff. Have another gift for you right here from your favorite band right here, Fleetwood Mac. Oh yeah, Fleetwood Mac. When did you get into Fleetwood Mac? Was it your dad? I've seen a picture of you and your dad. How would you describe the look of your dad and the look of yourself? My dad is like a he's a, like a old war veteran, Vietnam vet, red redneck hillbilly. You know what I mean? And me, 
I'm that I'm kind of that a little bit, but I'm but I'm of the 2000 era, you know, because I'm I'm born in this year, you know what I mean? But I was born really yesterday. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta just take that in consideration. So I do me, but also I'm a product of, you know, my father figures. And this is another Vancouver gift for you, believe it or not, because this was actually made in Vancouver by Bob Massey, a great artist, a Fleetwood Mac poster. I'm gonna frame this. Because you love the Mac, right? Yeah, I forgot her name. Wait. Steve Nix. Yeah, Stevie Nix. Who at one time actually had to blow cocaine up her asshole. She did? Yeah, because she blew out her nose. She had to only use her asshole because her nose wore out. Damn. Now, the question arises, have you ever blown cocaine up your asshole at all? No, I've never done that. <laughs> that, no. Riff Raff, what do we have happening right now? Wardrobe change. Sometimes you just got to, you know, that chain was too heavy. You're really bringing it for this interview. Thank you. Wardrobe change. You know, my most important interview, so you got to, you know, pull out all the... All the stunts. Riff Raff, I have another gift for you right here. Your favorite band of late, Little Dragon. Oh, yeah, Little Dragon. They go hard in the paint. Where did you discover Little Dragon? One of my friends uh, was just like playing something one day. I was like, damn, who is that? I thought it was like some old school shit, but it was like, it was new. So then they, they kept playing it, and then they, I, I looked up her name and shit, and I found some songs. How did you develop your beard pattern, Riff Raff? I was born with it. But what was the idea for the actual pattern? Like... I just used like my brain. And I was like, "Yo, what, what way should I go with it?" You know what I'm saying? And I just told, and I just told, drew a picture for the barber, and then he just bow, plaque out. What's it like to get a Paul Mitchell facial? Oh, it's expensive. It's better than the regular ones at the salon, though. You know what I mean? And how about for taking care of yourself, Riff Raff? Under it's very important. Yeah, like, do you use Old Spice still? Oh, uh, I use a little Old Spice. My what flavor of Old Spice? Fiji. Um, Fiji? Oh yeah, how you know? Damn, you've been searching through my shit? Cause they, uh, that's the Fiji. What, what happened there? Just made it rain. <laughs> and if a girl come over, we'll make a thunderstorm. Riff Raff, you've signed dogs? Yeah, I autographed dogs and shit. What's that like, autographing a dog? Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, like, the hair, you know what I mean? It grows a certain way, so you gotta write at a diagonal. You know what I mean? Cause the hair's growing down, so you can't go up. And then you can't just write straight down. You kind of got to, like, flow with it at an angle, obtuse angle. Your friend, Lil Flip. Lil Flip, man. He, what can you tell the people about Lil Flip in Houston? Honestly, th this was, like, the first artist I heard um, from Houston that, like, was blown up. Because there was a time when I was, like, in, like, oh, what was it? I don't know, junior high? I was, like, in, like, eighth or ninth grade. And they, his shit would leave, he, like, everybody would be waiting for his new freestyles to come out. And then he had just the way I ball. And that shit came out. That shit blew up like in Louisiana first before it even blew up in Texas. So that shit was like nationwide. And then it came back. And then, like he was for, for like oh, about a year, he was like the, like, pff, he, like, the, like the biggest artist in Houston, like hard. Like, it, like shit on the radio. And then he had all them freestyles and shit. Just the way we ball. And then I can do that. He came out with I can do that. Oh, man. This is like his second album, I think. Second or third album. And this is Chopped and Screw. But yeah, he phew, Flip was doing it. He still do. I know he got something like that now, but like people don't know about Flip. Like he he was going hard for a minute. Well, Riff Raff, I'd like to bring you back to Texas with a gift here, a Ghetto Boys T-shirt. Yeah, shit match my outfit too. It's big as hell though. I got extra large for you. Love it. Ghetto Boys San Antonio logo too, eh? Yeah, if you're wearing a, like a, a Texas shirt, it gotta be like extra large and shit, so you can wipe your face on it. Have you met Bushwick Bill or any of the Ghetto oh, Boys at all? I met Willie D. What happened there? No, I know him. He's cool. He's really cool, really. What's it like hanging with Willie D? No, no, we were just uh, listening to music and shit in his car. So do you think you'll put that on at all? You want to wear it right now? That would be great. I got you. This is Riff Raff in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Or is it time? This is another wardrobe change, isn't it? This is. Huh? And actually, what's on the floor there? Just if we could just pan down. Yeah, what exactly has happened here? Maybe you can just explain to people. What? Point out all the stuff, Riff Raff. Uh... We just got, you know, Paul Wall right here. You know what I'm saying? Just chilling. He's about, he's like monitoring the money. He's like, man, yo, Riff, man, you better bring this money, get some new jewels. That's what Paul's saying. And I just got some change over here, you know, lunch money, Canada money. I mean, it is what it, I mean, it's just, you know, car payment. You got some other stuff? Yeah, I got to do a wardrobe change. Here's Riff Raff. Take us through it. Walk us through it. All right, this is what, this is what we're doing. See, we're, we're like this with the Chartouche cat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take this off. We're going to flip it around to the Mad Decent sign for the simple fact that it matches the outfit. 
So then we're gonna put this shirt on. Normally not. Oh, let me take this glass off. Cause you, the last thing you wanna do is you, you don't wanna fuck up Sachi glass, especially someone as, as rare as these. You wanna you wanna you wanna get a good look at these? Huh? I, I can hold them for you. Uh, yeah. Did I just fuck them up there? Sorry. No, you didn't fuck them up, but it's it's very fragile. It's like a a baby panda egg. Well, thanks much, Riff Raff. Keep on rocking in the free world and do do the loot do. Do do. Yeah. Going down. Here, go ahead. I'm gonna swim in the money. Done. Finish. He's good. Look at this dude. He ain't tripping. He a chain holder. Two million on chest. Ha, ha, ha.